Today we stand at the edge of a new age. Not the kind announced with trumpets, but the kind that arrives quietly through systems, through infrastructure, and through code. An age where machine, man, and planet no longer operate separately, but as a single integrated system. Some call it innovation. Some call it progress. Some call it the next great leap forward. But every age has a name. And this one is being built under the sign of technology. A technocene. A technocratic era. A world where control is no longer enforced with soldiers, but with networks. There's a saying. Sometimes the biggest change doesn't announce itself. It doesn't arrive with headlines. And it doesn't break the sky in half. It arrives quietly as technology, as infrastructure, and as solutions. Tonight I'm not talking about a storm system, or a radar anomaly, or another round of spraying. I want to talk about the world we're already living inside, the one that's quietly rising around us. Because while everyone was watching the skies, something else was being built beneath our feet and above our heads. A new operating system for civilization. We measure history through industrial revolutions, steam, electricity, computers, automation. Most people stopped paying attention after that, but history didn't. Quietly and without public ceremony, we crossed into what they now call the fifth industrial revolution. This revolution isn't defined by factories, it's defined by networks, 5G grids, smart cities, mass machine-to-machine -machine communication, more sensors than human beings. They told us it was about faster internet and faster phones, but 5G didn't just connect devices, it connected reality itself. Millions of devices per square mile, infrastructure talking to infrastructure, cameras talking to algorithms, systems reacting in near real time. This isn't just the internet of things. This is the internet of everything. Step back far enough and it stops looking like telecommunications. It starts looking like a nervous system, a planetary nervous system. Now place that inside something most people never think about. We are electromagnetic beings living in an electromagnetic world. Hearts generating fields, brains firing electrical signals, nervous systems functioning like an organic circuitry. And for all of history, life unfolded inside the natural electromagnetic environment of Earth. Now, for the first time ever, that environment sits beneath a synthetic environment. Dense wireless grids, radar fields, satellite constellations, tower arrays, constant pulsing signal environments. We don't simply live on Earth anymore. We live inside a designed electromagnetic habitat. Who designs it? Who governs it? and who benefits from it. Those questions rarely make it into polite conversation. While this invisible world expands, something physical has been changing quietly in plain sight. Look across the countryside. Farmlands turned into energy plantations. Forests reduced while steel towers rise in their place. And solar grids rolling across the horizon like a metallic crop. They call it renewable. They call it sustainable. They call it green, but stand there long enough on the ground and the illusion fades. The land isn't being protected. It's being converted from living ecosystems into infrastructure. And while machines multiply, life retracts. The six mass extinction doesn't arrive with panic. It arrives with paperwork. It arrives with ribbon cuttings. And it arrives with speeches about saving the world. If this is about saving life, why does it continue to shrink? Then came the language that tied it all together. A reset, a transformation, a re-engineering of civilization. New finance, new governance, new societal frameworks, new technological control layers, and all of it synchronized beneath one narrative. This is necessary. This is inevitable. This is progress. And suddenly... 5G makes perfect sense. It wasn't the upgrade. It was the plumbing. Welcome to the Great Reset. If 5G built the nerves, 6G builds the brain. Terahertz systems, sub-millisecond reaction speeds, 
AI native at every layer. Networks that don't just transmit, they sense, they observe, they adapt, and they react. Listen carefully to the language. Ambient intelligence, cyber physical integration, no offline spaces, biology merging with technology, real time biomonitoring, digital twins of cities, industries, nations, the planet, and the human. Decision making systems faster than human thought. 5G connected the world, 6G governs it. And it arrives during a mass ecological decline. Then comes the moment when the story stops being about convenience and shifts to something else. On November 24, 2025, the Genesis mission launches. 17 national labs unified, the fastest supercomputers combined. AI trained on the deepest scientific intelligence available, robotic laboratories capable of running experiments on their own. The stated goal? Accelerate discovery, solve energy, solve environment, solve biology, a national scientific brain. But here's where things change. Genesis doesn't just analyze data, Genesis experiments. And when AI begins experimenting on systems connected to a fully networked world, we cross a line from AI as a tool to AI as an architect. This is the part rarely mentioned above a whisper. While Genesis develops intelligence, a parallel architecture already exists. Ionospheric heating systems, atmospheric plasma modulation, directed energy infrastructure, satellite constellations capable of interacting with the atmospheric medium, radar networks capable of sculpting weather environments, and the quieter component few acknowledge, aerosols, chemtrails, a conductive atmospheric lattice, a medium, a stage, something that makes the sky responsive. Aerosolized metals, atmospheric chemistry engineered to interact with radiation and frequency. Atmospheric alchemy. Once something is conductive, it can be activated, and once it can be activated, it can be shaped, whether as a managed force, weather routing, climate steering, localized intensification, localized suppression, sometimes framed as protection, sometimes framed as mitigation, sometimes framed as defense, and sometimes it isn't framed publicly at all. In a world like this, storms become policy instruments, drought becomes leverage, flood becomes restructuring, crisis becomes an opportunity, land shifts, infrastructure resets, economies bend, and while populations argue over whether any of this is even real, contracts expand, budgets increase, systems grow more permanent, whether for military advantage, economic advantage, or management advantage, a controlled environment is a powerful environment. Once you begin to see the world as a controllable environment, something else emerges an idea, an unspoken one. If nature is unstable, why not replace it? Not with forests, not with ecosystems, but with managed systems. Smart ecosystems, technological climate layers, regulated sky grids, stabilized artificial habitats layered over biological habitats. Not climate mitigation, environmental management, a permanent system permanent oversight, a permanent technological sky. Now look up again, the Golden Dome Defense Architecture, satellites weaving a controlled mesh around the planet, real-time sensing, real-time reaction, and real-time control. Starlink, OneWeb, Kuiper, military constellations, tens of thousands of objects, data flowing constantly, AI integrating decisions faster than human command ever could. We were told it was just internet, but when you stack it above 5G on the ground, 6G on the horizon, Genesis being implemented from laboratory to real world, geoengineering infrastructures in the sky, environmental control narratives are gaining dominance. It stops looking like separate programs and it begins to look like one system. And somewhere beyond the press releases and the polite news coverage sits an idea, not of the documented Genesis mission, but of the Genesis initiative. The concept that the planet can be studied in real time, 
the atmosphere can be engineered energy behavior climate resources movement and information all of it one programmable environment not all at once not publicly acknowledged and not openly debated but step by step a connected earth a measured earth a justified restructuring a synchronized control network ai as the experimenter a managed sky a planet becoming upgradable and while all of this takes shape in steel circuitry satellites and signal another war unfolds in silence the one that doesn't target bodies it targets perception endless competing narratives synthetic realities artificial social division emotionally weaponized information a civilization psychologically destabilized until confusion becomes normal because a population struggling to perceive reality rarely recognizes when it's being redesigned so where does that leave us we are already inside of the fifth industrial revolution we are walking toward the sixth a reset narrative exists the ai architecture exists the atmospheric infrastructure exists the sky grid is rising none of this is hypothetical this is now all right sky watchers stay aware be prepared and until next time keep looking up